All right, we're rolling. <laughs> Hello, my tubers. It's me, the expert on everything. Um, not really. This video, I think I'm going to title like how I'm the happiest I've ever been. If it helps one person, it'll be worth it. Uh, and I just want to start with a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a mental health professional. And I'm also not the poster child for like shining, gleaming, amazing mental health. But um, with that being said, these are the things that I have done in my life over the past few years that have worked for me to the point where I'm on a place where I'm happy almost every day. I'm not perfect, obviously no one is. I still have hard days. I still have days where I have lots of anxiety. I still have days where I'm feeling down. But now they're days instead of weeks or months or years. So these are the things that I've done to overall just like enjoy my life, which is amazing. <laughs> It's like all I could ever ask for. Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm pregnant right now, so <laughs> my brain is just a little all over the place. Excuses, excuses. You know what? I need to eat my second, third breakfast and I will be back. I just want to say that I don't take any medication. I don't do drugs or anything like that. I just, I'm, I'm high on life all the time, you know? Like I, like I'd have like one to two drinks a week because I genuinely like the taste of wine and beer, but I don't depend on any sort of substances to alter my brain. So I, like, that's what works for me. That's what I wanted to make work for myself there's nothing wrong with um, getting help if you need it. Medicational, medicationally, <laughs> medication wise. These are things that I bring into my life every day and work at every day. It has allowed me to completely shift my outlook on life and it's been working for a few years and it might not work forever, but these are things that have helped me thus far. Let's get into this. Um, first step, number one recommendation is therapy. <laughs> this isn't something you can just do by yourself, but if you are highly depressed, highly anxious, I cannot recommend it enough. It was really like, I don't know, like scary to me at first or just like intimidating, um, but it's honestly very helpful to have somebody they want to help you you're paying them there's not gonna be any voice in your head hopefully that is like oh I'm being so annoying to my therapist or whatever like you know what they're there for and they can help you in so many ways um it's somebody to talk to it's somebody to give you advice it's somebody to check you on maybe mindsets or ways that you have been thinking that aren't helpful to you it's somebody to help you recognize patterns of your own behavior. It's somebody who's there for you to help you. So if you can afford it, number one recommendation, because everyone's different. Everyone has their own issues. And if you find a therapist that meshes well with you, like it is an incredible thing that can help you in so many ways. And my therapist is actually the person who recommended me to do a lot of these things. And I had to actually put the work in and actually do them. But um, my therapist was really amazing and just helped me on my goal to improve my mood without medication. And everyone's different. Everyone has their own issues. Every therapist is different. So... If you're thinking like this isn't helping at all, go try a new one. It's just like with any 
people in your life, there's going to be people who understand you, people who help you, people who don't understand you at all. Just try, just keep trying. It's just someone to talk to. It's someone who's there to help you. So I'm sorry if that's not helpful for you because you can't afford it. There's, this will go to my next point. Communicate and accept help from people who offer it. If you can't afford therapy, I'm sure there is somebody in your life or there's somebody who's willing to be in your life that you can reach out to more often or try to not isolate because that is something that happens as your brain is like, oh, everybody hates you or, you know, you know, those fun thoughts. Make an effort to reach out. <laughs> it's, it's hard at first, but it's, your life gets so much better when you reach out and you bring people in that genuinely want to like know the real you and know what's really going on. There are people out there, reach out, find them. Don't isolate yourself if you have people to reach out to, like they're there for you. And if they're not, they don't deserve to be in your life. And if you don't, if you genuinely don't have anyone, play RuneScape. There's billions of people out there. You can make it work. You can find someone talking to people online, talking to strangers <laughs> on the internet, getting in arguments with them. No, I'm just kidding. There's, there's so many people out there and it's so hard to reach out initially, but you can do it. It's important to have some sort of social circle or some sort of social interaction or else you start to go a little crazy because humans are social creatures. Next point that I have is gratitude. Every day, well not every single day, but I try to every day. There are days that are like too crazy or I don't know, you know, life gets in the way. But I try to every day write down or say out loud or whatever works for you at least three things that I'm grateful for. I do it in the morning so when I wake up hopefully my whole day I'm grateful for more stuff but yeah it's really good to just say what you're grateful for. If you're watching this you have internet that's amazing like you can be grateful for the internet. I'm grateful for this apartment that I'm living in. I'm grateful that we have running water. Uh, I'm grateful to be alive. <laughs> There's so many things to be grateful for. And just saying them every day, finding new things is awesome. Can't recommend it enough. Positive affirmations. This is something that my therapist gave me homework for every week, and this is something that I worked on every week for years, retraining those kinds of negative thoughts that you have. There's positive affirmations that you can listen to on YouTube. There's positive affirmation lists you can look up online. And kind of the, ad the general advice that I was given is the, like, more averse you are to a positive affirmation, the more you might need it in your life. Like, I remember when I first started going to therapy, one of the affirmations that I was just like, oh my God, like who would say such a thing? Like, I was just like, that is stupid. <laughs> I live in, I live with the expectation of good things happening to me. I was like, who the fuck lives with the expectation of good things happening to them? Because my mind was like, bad things always happen. Bad things happen over and over. Like, you can never get away from bad things, which might be true. But thinking that way for years and years, <laughs> and it, it didn't allow me to see the good things that also happened. So that was one that I needed to work up to slowly. She had me start with uh, <laughs> some affirmations that were a little like gentler wording, like 
good things can sometimes happen. I think that's like what I started with. And I was like, okay, yeah, I guess that's true. So I started with that for a few weeks until I got comfortable with it. And then I like kept working up. And now I do feel like good things can happen and they do happen and they can last for a long time. They happen regularly. There are still bad things that happen, but I'm not in that mindset of like, you know, that mindset anymore, the <laughs> negative mindset. So there's just like, you can do that with so many different things. Um, another big one that I did, this is both gratitude and an affirmation is I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for this life that I've been given. Um, Cause I didn't used to feel that way. So, but now I feel that way. And I'm like, that's something that I've been working on for years. So, and it's great because I enjoy my life and like, I'm so happy and I'm so grateful to be alive and it's amazing. So next point, meditation. This I think is incredibly important for me. There's guided meditations, there's like regular meditations, there's books on meditation if you've never done it before. For me, this is, I feel like this is truly my medicine where you take a step back from the busyness and you take a deep breath and instead of getting caught up in your thoughts, which are causing all of these crazy anxiety and depression and stuff like that you take it you you're trying to take a step back and observe it and meditation is something that takes so much repetition before you start to really see the benefits of it um, because you're without it your brain is so trained to just be like constantly going and constantly thinking, constantly worrying about the future, worrying about the past, blah, 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 blah. Um, but with regular practice, I cannot tell you how helpful it is. Um, I started with guided meditations and I think those are great because you're not just sitting there like thinking, am I doing this right? Am I, like, is anything happening? Guided meditations are great because somebody experienced is leading you through it and just, like, telling you positive things and, you know, it's good. Uh, Jason Stevenson is a great free YouTube channel with um, good guided meditations. He always has, like, positive stuff to say in his meditations. Um, there's also an app that I use called Calm that has some free meditations. So there's guided meditations for beginners. It's just something that's amazing. Even 10 minutes a day daily is so incredible um, for my brain. It's like, it's like exercise for your brain. It's healthy for your brain. It's good stuff. All right, next point is either going outside or exercising, or going outside slash exercising. This is something that can be really difficult if you're deeply depressed and are just like, it's tough to get out of bed. So if you can, like, if you can't exercise, even just going outside and sitting out in the sun for like 10 minutes, just go outside for a few minutes. Even if it's starting out like going and sitting in your car in a pretty place and like not leaving your car like it is so helpful to just get out of your little box of your safe space my phone ran out of storage i'm gonna try and wrap this up but yes exercise i started with 10 minute walks little yoga sessions just going to sit outside for a bit it's incredible whatever works for you. Do something if you can just to switch things up a bit, get that blood pumping a little bit. And it's something like exercise is so weird once you start doing it, you start, it makes you feel good. So you wanna do it more and more. <laughs> so it's a good thing. 
Next point, this one's very important in this day and age, in my personal opinion, delete social media and minimize your news intake. I have deleted social media off of my phone, so I only check it every like few weeks or month or so if I re-download it or if I decide to go on it on my computer. Generally, there's nothing really good on there. <laughs> I mean, maybe, like, maybe your YouTube feed is just filled with, like, puppies and, like, great happy things, and that's wonderful. You don't have to delete YouTube. I don't ha I haven't deleted YouTube because I watch a lot of, like, food videos and animal videos. I don't use YouTube to watch the news, but <clears throat> I deleted Instagram and Twitter, which were the two social medias that I have off my phone, and it's wonderful. I don't need them. They... It's unhealthy. That's all I can say about that. And minimize the news. If you feel the need to keep up with stuff, just even, it's, the, the news is made to make you feel afraid. The news is made to make you feel a certain type of way. It's made to make you feel emotional. And it's just so much better to not like let it directly into your life every single day. So if you feel like you need to keep up, Try and do it every other day uh, or once a week, maybe. Just try and bring down the level of consumption that you're doing because the world is going to go to hell either way and you can choose to follow it constantly and be really sad about it or you can choose to be happy while the world's going to hell. It's up to you. And another thing is I've found if there's something important enough, you will hear about it from other people. I don't I don't watch the news at all and I still feel like I'm pretty informed about what's going on in the entire world, which I feel like human beings are not meant to know what's going on in the entire world. That's like our brains aren't built for that. But anyways, um, minimize it. It's not helpful for your brain and good to stay informed it's good to be aware but it's not good to just be constantly bombarded constantly angry about something that is completely out of your control another one is this helps me a lot a daily to-do list when I was extremely depressed my to-do list literally consisted of shower and like eat breakfast <laughs> If that's your to-do list, do it because it will help you feel more accomplished about those things. You can get into a routine of showering and eating. You can start adding things to it. Um, to-do lists, I love them. I have, I do one every day, like gratitude, affirmation, blah, 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 you know. So to-do lists are great. They make you feel good about yourself. They remind you of things that you can do to make yourself feel better before just like waking up and mindlessly going throughout your day. Another thing is I, when I was very depressed and just starting to get into this stuff, I started drinking coffee uh, for the first time in years and it really did help me, give me that little boost of energy to get more stuff done in the morning like go through the gratitude and affirmation list and stuff like that um coffee tea drink water feed yourself like even if it's cereal like fuel your body to start with these baby steps and you'll start to eat more you'll start to do more like it's, it's like a slow climb, but you can do it. Um, and it's good to like give yourself that little energy to start. Oh, another thing is on the news and social media is consume happy media. I love horror movies. I love metal music. I love anything dark and scary and like depressing. I love it. And it was literally pretty much all that I consumed <laughs> for a long time. And it's good to take a break from it every once in a while because those things, like those dark things in the world are amazing and they are cool and fun to watch and think about and whatever. But 
if that's if your brain's like down here and everything you consume is also down here you're never gonna like lift yourself up above it so I definitely am a lot more mindful of how many horror movies I watch um I still listen to metal all the time but like a little bit less of the angry screaming more of the happy screaming you know <laughs> Happy media, like watch a comedy. The world can be funny. The world can be a light place. The world can be an amazing place. There's so many like great things in this world and it's good to remind yourself of that. And then last thing is just, this is what like the meditation and the affirmation and the gratitude, this is what it all really changed for me was my mindset. Like I needed to change my mindset. Part of that is getting out of the mindset of if my life was this way, I'd be happy. If I had this, I'd be happy. If this happened, I would be happy. Getting out of that mindset and letting go of control. You can't control anything in this world except for yourself. And you can control the work you put into things. You can control where you put your energy. Um, but you can't control what happens to you. And all of these things that I just said are my way of letting go of that control and living with whatever circumstances I'm giving, given, living in the happiest way possible with them. So yeah, these, these are all things to change your mindset. I'm not a doctor. These are things that worked for me and have been working for me for a few years now. So I just wanted to put them out there in case one of these points helped one person. Uh, so let me know if there's anything that you guys do that, have, that has helped you. I'm not perfect. I have really bad days still, but they are just days and Overall, I'm so grateful to be alive. I'm so happy overall. There are so many amazing things in my life and these things that I do help remind me every single day to focus on those instead of the circumstances that are outside of my control. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful life. I hope you can get the help you need and work on yourself and we're, we're all just trying our best. Don't beat yourself up. You're just trying your best too. You can do it. <laughs> I love you. Have a great day if you can. Um, or work, work towards getting there. Work towards having a great day. So, see you later.